a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for tuning in, watching, supporting. Okay, let's just hop right into it because I have some work to do on my patio. It is starting to get nice in Atlanta. A little bit, it's been kind of inconsistent, but nonetheless, springtime is here. So I wanna go ahead and get my patio together so I can spend more time outside, soaking up the sun, reading, journaling, whatever I wanna do on my patio. So I got some new stuff. Um, and I wanna actually be able to get it done before the sun goes down. So let's just hop right into it. Zoo, 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 zoo. It's like my house has been under construction for like two months at this point. Huge thank you to Cosway for sponsoring this video and sending over this patio set. Of course, I'm gonna leave everything linked in the description box below for you guys. So I got the four piece set with a love seat, a storage box and table. I love the color. I love that it's waterproof, easy to clean, which is really good because sadly my patio is not covered and Atlanta gets a lot of rain in the summer and spring months. So it came with a cover that you guys will see a little later. But if you've never heard of Cosway, I would definitely check them out. Cause I'm always looking for new websites to shop and browse around and they have everything from like you see here, outdoor furniture to appliances, health and beauty. They just have a lot to offer. But the three to five day shipping is what got me cause I love some quick shipping and I got my stuff really quickly and they have 24 hour online service, which is also a good service that they offer. But yeah, you guys know that I've been spending a lot of time getting my crib together, making a house a home, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So I'm just excited to have a nice outdoor space where I can come enjoy a cup of coffee or a tea, listen to some music, get some sun. And like I said, it's the perfect time because it's starting to warm up in Atlanta. So if you're looking to get any outdoor patio furniture, like I said, just check out the website. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box for you guys. I'm just loving how this is coming together. I just, I just. Oh my God, why come downstairs to check out the balcony? And my plant is leaning again. I don't know how long this plant is gonna last. I don't know how long, I'm trying. Why is it leaning like this? Girl, uh, let me get this together. Hold on, let me get this together. So I went to Lowe's, got the plant, brought it home, put it in the pot. One thing I didn't make sure was that it was like the hole in the bottom is open because you have to make sure it's drained, right? Like you have to make sure the plant drains. This is my first plant, y'all, I get fake plants. So I, it's a lot that goes into taking care of the plants. Being that I didn't make sure that the hole was open so it can drain, that night we get like a rainstorm for like 24 hours, we get like two feet of rain. So I come down the next day and the plant is gonna be drowned. Like the plant is drowned. Like I'm telling you, there's like literally two feet of water in the pot mixed with the soil. So I had to dump it out, made a mess all over the freaking patio. <sighs> now there's no soil in there so the plant is leaning. Went to Walmart, got some more potting mix um, just a few seconds ago because my plant is leaning. So now I have to figure out how to get this hole open because guess who's getting more rain tonight for like another 12 hours. I'm trying to keep this plant alive. This, this is exactly why I'd be right on Amazon ordering fake plants. There's a hole in here, but how do I get it open? Like, oh, period. Woo! That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Ah! And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get some rocks to go on the top of here so it can look cute. Like some white river rocks. So hopefully when it rains today, it'll drain the proper way. Like you can drown your plant if it's too much water. It is a majesty palm supposed to water it once or twice a week. No direct sunlight and then and then no temperatures under 40 degrees. Hopefully I can keep my babes alive. I need to name the plant. Maybe your majesty, that's cute. Your majesty, because it's a majesty plant. Like do you see the damn mess I have now? Like all this is like muddy <laughs> soil. All right, so I ran out real quick before this rain starts to get rocks. 
Dollar Tree had them for $1.25, so I got like eight of them, and we're gonna fill this up. It's already starting to do a little sprinkle, sprinkle, so I gotta hurry up. Hopefully this is enough, I got eight bags. Eight bags, should that be enough? Ooh, no, I think I should've got like 15. Cause that's one bag. Ah, eh, we'll see. Now this should definitely be enough. All right, it's hella rocks now. And then I got this solar power light that I'm gonna stick in the dirt and then it comes on at night. It just illuminates the plant and it looks really nice. Should I put it right there? Yeah, put it here. But yeah, it looks nice at night. Okay, so I'm about to make dinner. We're gonna get into something that I've never personally got into before, but I'm gonna make a seafood boil, but I'm gonna make a seafood boil at home. We got crab legs at the crib, okay? <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited, it better turn out good. So we got the crab legs, we got the red potatoes, lemons, corn, sausage, shrimp, some of the stuff that I found on TikTok to season it with. Yes, this, this recipe is from TikTok. Zatarain's crab boil. I don't want no one from Louisiana getting on me. This is my first time, okay? I don't need y'all in the comments judging me. But I got, it seems like a good recipe. So let me get into it. I also have to make the sauce separate. I'm gonna enjoy it on my Friday night. It's the rain. I checked on my plant and it is drowning. I should have just brought it inside for the night. Like it is a torrential downpour just like the other night. It is like... Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry, bigger crab legs to get seasoned. Let's get into it, y'all. I gotta focus, because I really don't know what I, this is, this is foreign to me, baby. Tell me why, not even one minute into the recipe, I already messed it up. This Zatarain's boil in a bag. Of course, I dump it in the water. And then I decided to read the instructions. It says, one sealed boil in bag of crab boil is sufficient. What the fuck do you mean sealed? Like I just dumped the whole thing in the in the pot. That's obviously not sealed. Like what now? <laughs> sealed. I'm already annoyed. What do you mean sealed? I don't have like a mesh bag I can put it in. One sealed boil in bag of crab boil. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Sealed just means it came sealed. Which it did, it came in a bag. Maybe I'm just thinking about this too hard. Nah, this looks really good. Came out too good, so we're gonna see how it tastes. But it looks really, really good. I don't know what Ariana puts in her albums, but it's crack every time. Y'all know that is my girl. Y'all know I'm an Ariana Grande crack. At first, it sounded a little too poppy for me. I was like, oh, this is very poppy. You know, like Forever 21, poppy type. You walk into like American Eagle and it's that type of music playing. I was like, girl, why you do this? But once you listen and you listen again, ah, I, got a, I got a little spring album. That's my girl. Anyway, oh, my crap oil turned out pretty good. It was like a seven. <laughs> it was pretty good though. It wasn't bad. It was just, I real, I feel like I did a few things wrong, but it was pretty good. It's a few days later. I'm actually up early because I have a brunch to go to and I have to run to Target to grab some stockings for the outfit that I'm gonna wear to brunch. I'm so glad that the events are coming back around and stuff because I spoke about it on Instagram a little bit. Girl, I was seasonally 
it comes every season i swear i was seasonally depressed like i don't even know if it's like depression because that's like a that's a big word to use like people take drugs for like depression like i just feel like it's just like a lack of you don't you have what is the word i'm looking for like a lack of come on cat got your tongue you trying to have a conversation and the cat has gotten your tongue lack of motivation like i just like don't be wanting to go outside just kind of like not feeling it i swear this happens every single winter and then as soon as the clocks turn and it's like sunny again and we have longer days i feel like myself again i feel like the winter is just not my friend this happens every winter like already i feel so much better and we just turned the clocks like a week ago and i feel so much better like i can't make this shit up so i'm happy that things are happening around atlanta again we're going to events so i'll be out and about a little more and that just brings my mood up the side we need vitamin d it's nine o'clock and the sun is shining i need it okay so i'm gonna run into target i'm kind of hungry but i'm going to a brunch so no need to eat right so many to choose from okay hanes don't sleep on target's earrings maybe have some cute earrings i think i'm gonna grab these they have a ton though they're so cute Fun colors. Yeah, these are cute. You know, I gotta get my target points. Good morning. Can I have the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso? Brown, um, what's the smallest? Oh. And is it already um, sweet? It's got no sweetener, yes. Okay. Let me know if that's sweet enough for you. Okay. Perfect, have a good one. Yeah. This is sure to give me the jitters and put me on the toilet, good thing I'm headed home. Caffeine on an empty stomach is crazy, but I needed it. This is good. Actually running late, that is so rude, but I was having a problem with my tights. Thank God I had a pair of tights. The tights ripped, so I was having a wardrobe malfunction but this two-piece set is from oak and ford bodysuit is from i forget where this bodysuit's from my little hat's giving preppy vibe cute little brunch vibe hillary banks hat rustlin bugged you know rb okay i gotta go thank you guys so much for coming i'm so excited to see all of you guys here and i'm saying i'm excited to see y'all here like i'm not in y'all city <laughs> um this is really just an event to uh, bring community together and to make you guys aware that VRA is now everywhere. This has been a passion project for me. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the industry, but there was a big strike. And there was, you know, we went to stop work, but VRA has been my focus. And it's been a great way to tell stories. And I want to be able to continue to do that. We're going to show you a little preview of something like the premiere tomorrow. I'm happy to be here with you guys, sipping for Seco, uh, celebrating you all. I want to be able to come to each of y'all tables and say hello. Um, but in the meantime, I want to preview this short little doc. Don't fill the check if I want to premiere online. Here's a VRA love story. It's a classic for this world. Forever, I'm that girl. Did you tell me to go? Perhaps not. Getting a chance to sit down at my favorite brunch spot with Issa Rae 
was not on my 2024 bingo card. It wasn't. But girl, I am so happy that I got to have the opportunity to sit down with one of my faves. Like, I really love Issa. Love, love, love Issa, Issa Rae. She was so down to earth. She acts just like she acts on Insecure. Insecure reminds me so much of my college years that carried us through college. What else? Y'all know I love rap shit. Sweet Life. I was like, Issa, if you ever thinking about Sweet Life, Atlanta, you know. <laughs> Let me know, because <laughs> that was my show. Y'all know that was my show. We're basically besties now. Basically best friends. She knows who I am. Her team knows who I am, you know? <laughs> and I got to meet some other Atlanta creators. Atlanta has so many creators, literally so many. I always love meeting people who do the same thing as me and just like picking their brain and I love it. I really, really love it. I'm trying to get all this makeup off. I'm always so grateful for opportunities like those and I'm looking forward to more in the future. This year, like I said, I don't know what's on my bingo card this year. I don't know, but I hope it's a lot of things like that. Just events, getting to know people, network. It's always a vibe. It's always a good time. I wanna try some new skincare today. I just cleaned my skin. Maybe I should tone first. Okay, so Laneige sent me some PR. I have my lip mask in there. You know, Laneige lip mask is always gonna. But they have skincare now. So they have a toner. They have a water sleeping mask that I wanna try. I think you're supposed to keep it on overnight and then wake up and then like wipe it off and it leaves your skin feeling. I don't know, cause I haven't tried it yet. And then what is this? A gel moisturizer. Maybe I'll just do the moisturizer tonight. I don't really feel like sitting with a mask on my skin overnight. Let's try this toner. Ooh. You guys see it? You know they got the lip stuff on lock, okay? I trust them with lip stuff. Let's see if I should trust them with skincare as well. No smell. Which is fine by me. No smell is always fine by me. Sarah Peptide. I swear I will never get tired of cleansers. I'll never get tired. I have 10 different toners. But like how do you know what you like until you try a new product? You feel what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna get a shower and actually, ooh, clean my face. But I want y'all to see what the gel moisturizer looks like. Can y'all see it though? It's like slimy almost. Like a gel-like texture. This one doesn't have a scent either, so I'm guessing this is good for the sensitive girlies. But I'm gonna actually clean my skin, use that. I'm going to sleep, I'm tired. I'm tired. We got Ariana Grande. We got Future, new album of Future. I mean, it's a good time for music right now, okay? I can't complain. I got albums to listen to. Um, where am I headed? Activate. We're headed to go act like big kids. Anytime there's an excuse to go to like, a, you know, I like, um, what are those rooms called? The breakout rooms. I love the breakout rooms. I love a good arcade. I love a good game. This place is called Activate. It's like a virtual game. It's Kate's birthday, so we're gonna go celebrate, have some fun, act like big kids. And I'm right on time. She said, meet me there at nine. I say, yeah. Yeah? And I haven't seen Kate in a while, so I'm excited to see my girl celebrate and have some fun. Always down for some fun. Is this my turn right here? Next turn. Oh, I miss living in Sandy Springs. I love Sandy Springs. It's literally so nice. Happy birthday, baby. You are so cute. We about to have some fun, y'all. We about to have some fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This man is peeing on this man's car. This man is pissing right here. You see this man? He's literally pissing on someone's car right now. A oh, bro, are you kidding me? Bro, I need to go home right. I need to go home right now. <laughs> I had a good time with Caitlyn and her friends and everything. But this is why I don't come home with my boyfriend because why I'm stuck, first of all, I'm stuck three cars deep. And it's mad car, you guys see, like, when you pay for valet, that means when you come out, your car and key is in hand, you're ready to go. He brought me to my car when I gave him the ticket. He said, oh, I'm gonna move these cars for you, and he disappeared. <laughs> so now, <laughs> It's a car right here, and there's a car in front of it, and there's another car double parked in front of it. 20 minutes later. Oh, you were super cute. Huh? Thank you. Not he said I'm super cute. Nigga, get me out of my parking spot. I don't care about being cute. They always trying to flirt. Get me out of here. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. There's so much going on. This is why I did not come out. It's why is he yelling? Play with me. It's it's space. Don't play with me. Yeah, I need that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you. A lot going on, y'all. I'm just trying to get home safely. <laughs> I'm just trying to get home safely, girl. Y'all, we had a lot of fun at Activate. If you're in Atlanta and you're looking for like a cute date or something to do with your friends, it's basically like they have 10 rooms and then each room, each room has a theme and within each room you can play like four or five games. So, I mean, there's plenty of things to try. It's like a little workout, it's fun, you gotta use your brain. It's really a cute time. So I might take my sisters and my parents there when they come in the next few weeks because I feel like they would enjoy that. So, But Kate had a good time for her birthday. But it's Sunday. I look a little rough. Oh my God. It'd be like that sometimes. But it's Sunday, so I'm gonna do my Sunday duties. Clean up my room, do some laundry. I wanna try meal prep this week. So I have to go shopping for meal prep. And that's about it. Teddy's hair is growing back, y'all. It's growing back nicely. Ray, isn't that Ray? Isn't that Ray, Teddy? It's gonna take a few months, but he's starting to look like himself again. Yes, poopy. Oh, look at his little curls coming back in. Oh, little baby, little baby. Got some new pillowcases from Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys the room. Um, I changed the uh, curtains since y'all last seen it and I added the mirrors. I'm gonna show you guys, it's coming along. The only thing I need, these look too big for this pillow. Should I iron it? 
You know I hate ironing. I do not want to iron anything if I can help it. Yeah, these look too big. I want to win. Be right back okay guys so this is how the room is coming together um the chairs are from castlery they were in boxes for weeks i finally put them together as you can see they're like brown and cream so i wanted to change the drapes to kind of like tie everything together so i changed them from white to this color i actually had these in my old apartment and i forgot i had them and i'm glad i came across them because i think they look really nice the mirrors i got they're actually from walmart I got the mirrors from Walmart, so I'll tag those below if you guys like those as well. And then I moved this in here because I got a new painting in my living room and it just didn't fit anymore. So I think it looks fine right here. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know what I want to do with this. Um, we'll see. But I think it looks fine. And then the wallpaper. But I'm really glad with how everything came together. Oh, I also got a rug, like a fuzzy, cozy rug so I can like dig my feet into it, read a book. Really cute. I'm just missing a little coffee table. I want to do a little coffee table, maybe like a bouquet of roses. And then this room will be like pretty much complete. But I like how it came together. Really cute sunroom vibes. because I'm going to get tired of it after five or six days of the same food. So I made my summer salad, but I never get sick of my summer salad. It has green bell peppers, Persian cucumbers, red bell peppers, boiled egg, and pepperoncini. You season it up with the season seasonings that you like, Italian dressing, and I'll eat one of these every day. And then I meal prepped lunch, which is... <laughs> I know when y'all were seeing this, y'all were just like, okay, potatoes and meat, like girl. It is a taco bowl, it's a potato taco bowl. So I cut up potatoes, roasted them in the oven with some seasonings, seasoned the ground turkey, and then I just didn't want to put the toppings on it. Um, you could put pico de gallo. So I have a big thing of pico de gallo, I got from the farmer's market. I'm gonna put sour cream, a little bit of sour cream, and a little bit of Mexican cheese. Um, and it'll be good. So this is a good meal prep. I actually weighed these out. 570 calories without the toppings. So I'll say probably like around 600 calories, but I really only eat twice a day. So I eat lunch, so I'll eat like a big lunch and then I'll eat dinner. I don't know, we'll see how meal prepping goes. I've been doing good throughout the week, but then when the weekend comes, that's where I mess up everything that I've done throughout the week. Like, like for instance, yesterday. We went out, we did something fun, then we go to the bar afterwards and we drink and I came home and ate Domino's pizza. It's just balance. It's just having a good balance. That's the only reason I'm not 200 pounds right now. <laughs> like I've gained weight since I've been in Atlanta for sure. But um, if I didn't have balance and I didn't go to the gym just at all, girl, I would be, I would be, I don't know where I would be, but I wouldn't be. Vontae's taking a nap, but he's gonna make us dinner later. Like for instance, dinner is freaking salmon Alfredo. Cajun, he was like, baby, you want me to make a Cajun, a salmon, a Cajun salmon Alfredo? I'm like, of course I want you to make a fucking salmon Cajun Alfredo. Like, it's just like the weekends are, it gets really spooky on the weekends, guys. 
And I'm also gonna leave this recipe for the taco bowl because I swear it's delicious. Um, I found the recipe on TikTok, so I'm gonna leave that for you guys if you just like are looking for a dinner recipe or meal prep. I'll leave it for you guys in the description box because it's good. I made it that I made it like two weeks ago or maybe a week ago. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna meal prep this because this is tasty. Let's see what Vons Hayden chefed up. So this is the Cajun. This is the sauce. Mm. We have some bow tie noodles. You know, men, if it was me, I would have made fettuccine, but I'm just glad that, you know, my man could just chef some things up. We have the salmon to go on top. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Um, yeah. 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 Good morning, babes. Let's go to the gym. Let's get it in. I've been doing good this week. When did I last talk to you guys? Sunday. This vlog is going up today. Period. So I'm going to head to the gym. I said I was doing five days this week. We on day three. Going strong. So I'm just going to do... So I've just been doing straight cardio. Straight cardio. An hour or like 45 minutes of cardio. The hack. Why didn't no one tell me? Because cardio is always very boring for me. Like... Oh, it is like just staring out the window for 45 minutes and listening to music is just like, bro, this is so boring. So yesterday I put on a Netflix show. When I tell you that 50 minutes, I did 50 minutes. I was like, oh, this flew by. This is perfect. So I'm going to try that same thing again today. Hopefully my brain is down for another episode of, I started something on Netflix. My sister actually put me on. It's called, God damn it. It's called Call the, Call the Ha- don't let me get on here and start lying to you guys. Call the Midwife. It's actually an old show. There's like five or six seasons, or maybe even seven seasons. But the first episode is really good, so I'm gonna start the second episode today. Get my cardio in, get it in, and get it in. Period. And I got like five hours of sleep last night. Not even. The girl's eyes are burning, but I'm sure this workout is gonna wake me up. Like what? Let's keep it a buck. Bitch, too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Let me get me wrong when I hop at the chug. Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yeah, pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them way hold on. And I'm making them way hold on. Way hold Every on. day, it's trust issues. Because my watch says 533 calories. The treadmill says 630 calories. I think because the watch doesn't take into account that I'm doing incline workout, like I'm doing an incline. I don't know. I just know I'm gonna treat myself. So I'm gonna try this cafe out that's kind of close to the gym that I go to. I looked on the website and they have those cute little cappuccinos with the like, the leaf on it. You know what I'm talking about? The cappuccino with the cute cappuccino art. So I wanna see, and they have like, um, I don't know, maybe like avocado toast. I'm not a big avocado, avocado. I'm not a big avocado toast girly, but I wanna see what they have. I'm gonna grab that for lunch. Um, you see my meal, I'm supposed to be eating my meal prep for lunch, but I'm going to the cafe. I'll eat, so I'll eat my meal prep for dinner because I'm really not trying to let that food go to waste, y'all. But see, I'll be sick of it. It's day three and I'm like, I want something different. So, <laughs> we'll see. 101 steak, ooh. Not a steakhouse. Are you fucking kidding me? 15 minute parking, well I need 30. Oh, they're hugging, what are they hugging about? Oh, are they okay? This is why you need tents, cause I'll be on people's car and I know people be on my car, but they're like hugging. They look sad. Oh my God. Oh my God. Girl, mind your business, mind your business. I don't really feel like I stank. But you know you always gotta keep a body spray in your gym bag. No, where's my body spray? I didn't even bring it, are you kidding me? 
<gasps> I didn't bring my body spray. I don't think though. I really don't. Something about him is oh there we go. I'm like, I don't think, but I still want to smell like I didn't just Jim wear. with sweet cream. It looks really good though. were getting on me the other day. They were like, oh, smoked salmon on a bagel is like, chef's kiss, the best thing ever. I'm like, all right, ooh, this already looks, <laughs> it looks good, don't get me wrong. I'm just like, it looks really good. Looks like pickled onions, capers, smoked salmon, cream cheese on a bag. I want actually a piece of toast. This is not a bagel. It looks good though. It's actually really good. I like it. Um, I think it's safe to say I am a smoked salmon girly because that was delicious. Well, that was simply delightful. Who knew that smoked salmon was good? I'm gonna have to call my sisters and tell them that they put me on something. Put me on smoked salmon and cream cheese on a bagel with capers? Are you kidding me? Who am I? Who orders that? That's something I would look at my sister and be like, you're so uppity and bougie because like, I would like a bagel with cream cheese, smoked salmon, please, and capers. Red onion, pickled onion, please. That's exactly how my sister would order it, and I would look at her like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but she knows something that I don't. Well, now I do, but girl, I'm good. All right, can I get out? Right, these people can't drive, I feel you. All right, let me head home. Take a shower, get my day started, edit this end of this vlog, and then post it for you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Cause like I said, I need to upload. <laughs> I need to upload this today. Today. Today, Mary Ann. Oh, so will we gonna crash into each other? Please go. Thank you with your hot dog from QT. <laughs> See, uppity already. <laughs> I'm looking down on someone's hot dog. That's not okay. That's not okay. Because a hot dog's still gonna hit. <laughs>